This is the most advanced carbon capture pilot plant you will find in any university anywhere in the world. It's specifically designed to allow us to show how carbon would be captured from the flue gas from a power station. One of the big challenges we're facing in the future is that we need to think about the amount of CO2 in the environment. And one way we can mitigate that or reduce it is by capturing the CO2 that comes out of power stations. So if we want to capture the CO2 coming from a power station, we need a special type of chemical plant to capture it. And it's called, not surprisingly, a carbon capture plant. So here we have a small scale carbon capture plant that we can use to train the students in the department on both carbon capture and how to actually run chemical plants. This plant will specifically capture CO2 from a mixture of CO2 and nitrogen. What it will do is take the mixture of CO2 and nitrogen, it passes through a very tall column which contains a liquid, which is mainly water, and a chemical called MEA, monoethanol amine. And what will happen is in the column, the carbon dioxide will react with the MEA and form a complex. We will then take that MEA rich solution with carbon dioxide and we'll then heat that up and we'll separate the CO2 from that solution. So in the end, we can separate CO2 from nitrogen. This is a very advanced facility for studying carbon capture and the most advanced facility of its type in the university. It's also unique because it's been specifically designed with teaching in mind. So, for example, there are unique sensors that aren't available anywhere else that are used on the plant. For example, we have wireless sensors. So these allow the plant to be operated without any wires. We also have visualisation ports, windows, that you can look inside the plant and what's happening inside the plant. And also, unlike many other plants, this plant can be run with an iPad or an iPod. The advantage is you can actually control the plant from a space other than the actual control room. So you can wander around the floor of the plant, which is spread over four levels, and in any one of those locations, you can look at the plant operation, control it, improve it, or correct it. The college has a long-standing connection with ABB, and we've recently extended that as a part of this project on the part of the plant. ABB is a global engineering company employing about 130,000 people worldwide, and we supply automation and power technologies to customers in the process industries and to utility companies. One of the key features of the control room are the extended operator workplaces, uh, these are the latest technology ergonomically designed and the type of thing that's de being deployed in industry currently. Uh, they help the operator respond correctly in emergency situations. So for instance, if an alarm were to sound, the desk rises, the operators stand up, they're more alert and they respond to the circumstances correctly. It's important for young chemical engineers to work with industry because it's an important part of the world they will enter when they leave here. APP has been involved in Imperial for many years now, formalised into a strategic alliance in 2004, and we've jointly sponsored the Professor of Process Automation for a number of years. So this investment is the latest in a long involvement with Imperial as one of our chosen universities globally, both for research and for sponsoring students. We're very keen on making certain students get an understanding of the challenges and opportunities that industry offer. And ABB as a lead supplier in the area of instrumentation control are a good partner for us and our students to work with. ABB is hoping to support Imperial in giving their students a realistic impression of what life in the process industry is like and we'd like them to have the experience that will equip them for a career in industry.